The Taosug or Sulik people are an ethnic group of the Philippines, Malaysia and Indonesia. The Taosug are part of the wider political identity of Muslims of Mindanao, Sulu and Palawan. Most of the Taosugs have converted into the religion of Islam whose members are now more known as the Moro group, who constitute the third largest ethnic group of Mindanao, Sulu and Palawan. The Muslim Taosugs originally had an independent state known as the Sulu Sultanate, which once exercised sovereignty over the present-day provinces of Basilan, Palawan, Sulu, Tawi-Tawi, the eastern part of the Malaysian state of Sabah, formerly North Borneo, and North Kalimantan in Indonesia. Etymology Taosug means the people of the current, from the word Tao which means man or people, and Sug alternatively spelled Sulug or Sulik which means sea currents. The term Taosug was derived from two words Tao and Sug or Sulik in Malay meaning people of the current, referring to their homelands in the Sulu archipelago. Sug and Sulik both mean the same thing, with the former being the phonetic evolution in Sulu of the latter, the L being dropped and thus the two short U's merging into one long U. The Taosug in Saba refer to themselves as Taosug but refers to their ethnic group as Sulik, as documented in official documents such as birth certificates in Saba, which are written Malay. History Pre-Islamic era Prior to the establishment of the Sultanate, the Taosug lived in communities called a Banwa. Each Banwa is headed by a leader known as a Panglima along with a healer called a Mangangabit. The Panglima is usually a man with a strong political and physical leadership among the community folks. The healer may either be a man or a woman, and they are specialized in contacting the spiritual realm. The healers are also exempted from practicing traditional marriage as they can have sensual relationships with the same sex, a common trait in numerous tribes throughout the Philippines archipelago and northern Borneo in pre-Islamic and pre-Christian times. Each Banwa is considered as an independent state, the same with the city-states of other regions in Asia. The Taosug during the era had trade relations with other neighboring Taosug Banwas, the Yakin of Basilan, and the nomadic Sama Baju. Sultanate era The history of Sulu begins with Karim ul Makdam, a Muslim missionary, who arrived in Sulu in 1380. He introduced the Islamic faith and settled in Tubig Indongan, Simonal, until his death. The mosque's pillars at Tubig Indongan, which he built, still stand. In 1390, Raja Baguinda Ali landed at Buanza, and extended the missionary work of Makdam. The Johor-born Arab adventurer Saeed Abubakar Abarin arrived in 1450, married Baguinda's daughter, Diang Diang Paramisuli. After Raja Baguinda's death, Saeed Abubakar became Sultan, thereby introducing the Sultanate as a political system, the Sultanate of Sulu. Political districts were created in Parang, Pansal, Lati, Gidding, and Luk, each headed by a Panglima or district leader. After Said Abu Bakr's death, the Sultanate system had already become well established in Sulu. Before the coming of the Spaniards, the ethnic groups in Sulu, the Taosug, Samal, Yakin, and Baju, were in varying degrees united under the Sulu Sultanate, considered the most centralized political system in the Philippines. Called the Spanish Moro Conflict. These battles were waged intermittently from 1578 till 1898, between the Spanish colonial government and the Bangsamoro people of Mindanao and Sulu. In 1578, an expedition sent by Gov. Francisco de Sande and headed by Capt. Rodriguez de Figueroa began the 300-year warfare between the Moro Taosug and the Spanish authorities. In 1579, the Spanish government gave de Figueroa the sole right to colonize Mindanao. In retaliation, the Moro raided Visayan towns in Panay, Negros, and Cebu for they know the Spanish will get foot soldiers in this areas. These were repulsed by Spanish and Visayan forces. In the early 17th century, the largest alliance composed of the Maranao, Maguindano, Taosug, and other Moro and Lumad groups, was formed by Sultan Kudarat or Kashal Kuralat of Maguindano, whose domain extended from the Davao Gulf to Dapitan on the Zamboanga Peninsula. Several expeditions sent by the Spanish authorities suffered defeat. 
In 1635, Capt. Juan de Chaves occupied Zamboanga and erected a fort. In 1637, Gov. Gen. Hurtado de Corcora personally led an expedition against Kudarat, and temporarily triumphed over his forces at Lamatan and Iliana Bay. On 1 January 1638, de Corcora, with 80 vessels and 2,000 soldiers, defeated the Moro Tausug and occupied Jolo mainly staying inside captured Cadiz. A peace treaty was forged. The victory did not establish Spanish sovereignty over Sulu, as the Tausug abrogated the treaty as soon as the Spaniards left in 1646. But later Sultanate of Sulu totally gave up its rule over South Palawan to Spain in 1705 and over Basilan in 1762. In the last quarter of the 19th century Moros in the Sultanate of Sulu formally recognized Spanish sovereignty, but these areas remained partially controlled by the Spanish as their sovereignty was limited to military stations and garrisons and pockets of civilian settlements in Zamboanga and Cotabato, the latter is under Sultanate of Maguindano, until they had to abandon the region as a consequence of their defeat in the Spanish-American War. In 1737, Sultan Alamad Din I for personal interest, entered into a permanent peace treaty with Gov. Gen. F. Valdez y Taman, and in 1746, befriended the Jesuits sent to Jolo by King Philip. The permission of Sultan Azimuddin I, asterisk the first heir apparent, allowed the Catholic Jesuits to enter Jolo, but was argued against by his young brother, Raja Muda Maharaja Adin de Datu Bantalan, asterisk the second heir apparent. Datu Bantalan did not want the Catholic Jesuits to disturb or dishonor the Moro faith in the Sulu Sultanate Kingdom. The brothers then fought causing Sultan Azimuddin I to leave Jolo and head to Zamboanga, then to Manila in 1748. Then, Raja Muda Maharaja Adin de Datu Bantalan was proclaimed as Sultan, taking the name as Sultan Bantalan Muizuddin. He was a savior to the Sulu Sultanate Kingdom in 1748. If he had not fought against his brother for permitting the Catholic Jesuits to enter Jolo and spread their Catholic doctrine, Throughout Sulu, it might have become a Catholic area today. In 1893, amid succession controversies, Amir ul Kiram became Sultan Jamal ul Kiram II, the title being officially recognized by the Spanish authorities. In 1899, after the defeat of Spain in the Spanish American War, Col. Luis Huerta, the last governor of Sulu, relinquished his garrison to the Americans, Orosa 1970 25 minus 30. Prior to modern times, the Tausug were under the Sultanate of Sulu. The system is a patrilineal system, consisting of the title of Sultan as the sole sovereign of the Sultanate, in Tausug language, Lupa Sug, literally, land of the current, followed by various Maharaja and Raja titled subdivisional princes. Further down the line are the numerous Panglima or local chiefs, similar in function to the modern Philippine political post of the Barangay Capitan in the Barangay system. Of significance are the Sarif Sharif, and their wives, Sharifa, who are Hashemite descendants of the Islamic prophet, Muhammad. They are respected as religious leaders, though some may take up administrative posts. In the northern area of Borneo in Sabah, most of the recognized citizens have lived in the area since the rule of the Sultanate of Sulu. During the British administration of North Borneo, a recognized Baju Suluk warrior in the Malaysian history helped to fight off the British in a battle known as Mat Salah Rebellion and gained many supports from other natives. During the Second World War when the Japanese occupied the northern Borneo area, the native Suluks once again involved in a struggle to fight off the Japanese where many of them including women and kids been massacred after their revolt with the Chinese been foiled by the Japanese. Modern Era Philippines. A policy of attraction was introduced, ushering in reforms to encourage Muslim integration into Philippine society. Proxy colonialism was legalized by the Public Land Act of 1919, invalidating Tausug Pusaka inherited property laws based on the Islamic Sharia. The act also granted the state the right to confer land ownership. It was thought that the Muslims would learn from the more advanced Christian Filipinos, and would integrate more easily into mainstream Philippine society. 
In February 1920, the Philippine Senate and House of Representatives passed Act No. 2878, which abolished the Department of Mindanao and Sulu, and transferred its responsibilities to the Bureau of Non-Christian Tribes under the Department of the Interior. Muslim dissatisfaction grew as power shifted to the Christian Filipinos. Petitions were sent by Muslim leaders between 1921 and 1924, requesting that Mindanao and Sulu be administered directly by the United States. These petitions were not granted. Realizing the futility of armed resistance, some Muslims sought to make the best of the situation. In 1934, Arolas Tulawi of Sulu, Datu Manangdang Piang and Datu Bla Sinshuit of Cotabato, and Sultan Alaya Alanto of Lanao were elected to the 1935 Constitutional Convention. In 1935, two Muslims were elected to the National Assembly. The Taosug in Sulu fought against the Japanese occupation of Mindanao and Sulu during World War II and eventually drove them out. The Commonwealth sought to end the privileges the Muslims had been enjoying under the earlier American administration. Muslim exemptions from some national laws, as expressed in the Administrative Code for Mindanao, and the Muslim right to use their traditional Islamic courts, as expressed in the Moro Board, were ended. It was unlikely that the Muslims, who have had a longer cultural history as Muslims than the Filipinos as Christians, would surrender their identity. This incident contributed to the rise of various separatist movements, the Muslim Independence Movement MIM, Ansar el-Islam, and Union of Islamic Forces and Organizations Cheyman 1990 In 1969, the Moro National Liberation Front MNLF, was founded on the concept of a Bangsa Moro Republic by a group of educated young Muslims. In 1976, negotiations between the Philippine government and the MNLF in Tripoli resulted in the Tripoli Agreement, which provided for an autonomous region in Mindanao. Nur Miswari was invited to chair the provisional government, but he refused. The referendum was boycotted by the Muslims themselves. The talks collapsed, and fighting continued. On 1 August 1989, Republic Act 673 or the Organic Act for Mindanao, created the Autonomous Region of Mindanao, which encompasses Maguindano, Lanao del Sur, Sulu, and Tawi Tawi. Malaysia Most of the Taosugs in Malaysia had lived since the rule of the Sultanate of Sulu on parts of Sabah with some of them were actually descendant of a Sulu princess, Diang Diang, who had escaped from the Sulu Sultan in the 1850s when the Sultan tried to make the princess as a wife although the Sultan already have many concubines. To differentiate themselves from the newly arrived Taosug immigrants from the Philippines, most of them preferred to be called as Sulik. Demographics. The Taosug currently number about 953,000 in the Philippines. They populate the Filipino province of Sulu as a majority, and the provinces of Zamboanga del Sur, Basilan, Tawi Tawi, Palawan, Cebu and Manila as minorities. Much of these Filipino Taosugs have work in neighboring Sabah, Malaysia as construction laborers in search for better lives. However, many of them have violate the law by overstaying illegally and involved in criminal activities. The Filipino Taosugs are not recognized as a native to Sabah. The native Taosugs who had lived since the Sulu Sultanate era in Sabah had settled in much of the eastern parts, from Kudat Town in the north, to Tawau in the southeast. They number around 300,000 with many of them had intermarried with other ethnic groups in Sabah, especially the Bajaus. Most prefer to use the Malay language ethnonym Sulik in their birth certificates rather than the native Taosug to distinguish themselves from their newly arrived Filipino relatives in Sabah. Migration fueled mainly from Sabah also created a substantial Sulik community in Greater Kuala Lumpur. While in Indonesia, most of the communities mainly settled in the northern area of North Kalimantan like Nunukan and Tarakan, which lies close to their traditional realm. There are around 12,000 1981 estimate Taosug in Indonesia. Religion The overwhelming majority of Taosugs follow Islam, as Islam has been a defining aspect of native Sulu culture ever since Islam spread to the southern Philippines. They follow the traditional Sunni Shafi'i section of Islam, however they retain pre-Islamic religious practices and often practice a mix of Islam and animism in their adat. 
a Christian minority exists. During the Spanish occupation, the presence of Jesuit missionaries in the Sulu archipelago allowed for the conversion of entire families and even tribes and clans of Tausugs, and other Sulu natives to Roman Catholicism. For example, Azim Ud Din I of Sulu, the 19th Sultan of Sulu was converted to Roman Catholicism and baptized as Don Fernando de Alamedan, however he reverted to Islam in his later life near death. Most assimilated Filipino celebrities and politicians of Tausug descent also tend to follow the Christian religion of the majority instead of the religion of their ancestors. For example, Maria Lourdes Sereno, the 24th Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of the Philippines is of patrilineal Tausug descent as a born-again Christian. Singer City is of Tausug and Samal descent, she claims to be of Mapun heritage, also native to Sulu, is also a Christian. Traditional political structure The political structure of the Tausug is affected by the two economic divisions in the ethnic group, mainly Parianan people of the landing, and Gimbahanan hill people. Before the establishment of the Sultanate of Sulu, the indigenous pre-Islamic Tausug were organized into various independent communities or community states called Banwa. When Islam arrived and the Sultanate was established, the Banwa was divided into districts administered by a Panglima mayor. The Panglima are under the Sultan King. The people who held the stability of the community along with the Sultan and the Panglimas are the Ruma Bichora, State Council Advisors, Datu Raja Muda, Crown Price, Datu Maharaja Adensuk Palace Commander, Datu Latlajalaut Admiral, Datu Maharaja Layla, Commissioner of Customs, Datu Amir Bihar, Speaker of the Ruma Bachara, Datu Tumagong, Executive Secretary, Datu Juan, Secretary of Information, Datu Muluk Bandarasa, Secretary of Commerce, Datu Sawajan, Secretary of Interior, Datu Bandahala, Secretary of Finance, Mamanejo, Inspector General, Datu Sikandal, Sultan's Personal Envoy, Datu Ney, Ordinance or Weapon Commander, Wazal, Prime Minister. A Mangingabit, Curer, also has special status in the community as they are believed to have direct contact with the spiritual realm. The community's people is divided into three classes, which are the nobility, the Sultan. S family and court, commoners, the free people, and the slaves, war captives, sold into slavery, or children of slaves. Languages The Tausug language is called Sinog, with Bahasa, to mean language. The Tausug language is related to Baikalano, Tagalog, and Visayan languages, being especially closely related to the Surigaonan language of the provinces Surigao del Norte, Surigao del Sur, and Agusan del Sur, and the Butuanan language of northeastern Mindanao, especially the root Tausug words without the influence of the Arabic language, sharing many common words. The Tausug, however, do not consider themselves as Visayan, using the term only to refer to Christian Visaya language speakers, given that the vast majority of Tausugs are Muslims in contrast to its very closely related Surigaonan brothers which are predominantly Roman Catholics. Tausug is also related to the Ware Ware language. Tausug also speak Zamboangueño Chavacano, other Visayan languages, especially Cebuano language because of the mass influx of Cebuano migrants to Mindanao, and Tagalog in the Philippines, Malay in the Philippines, Malaysia and Indonesia, and English in both Malaysia and Philippines as second languages. Malaysian Tausug, descendants of residents when the Sulu Sultanate ruled the eastern part of Sabah, speak or understand the Sabahan dialect of Sulak, Malaysian language, and some English or Simonal. Those who come in regular contact with the Baju also speak Baju dialects. By the year 2000, most of the Tausug children in Sabah, especially in towns of the west side of Sabah, were no longer speaking Tausug, instead they speak the Sabahan dialect of Malay and English. Cultures Tausugs are superb warriors and craftsmen. They are known for the Pangalay dance, also known as Daling Daling in Saba, in which female dancers wear artificial elongated fingernails made from brass or silver known as Jangay, and perform motions based on the Vidyadari Bahasa Sug, Bidadali, of pre-Islamic Buddhist legend. The Tausug are also well known for their Pais Sayabit, a multi-colored woven cloth traditionally worn as a headdress or accessory by men. Nowadays, the Pais Sayabit is also worn by women and students. 
In 2011, the Pai Sai Abbot was cited by the National Commission for Culture and the Arts as one of the intangible cultural heritage of the Philippines under the traditional craftsmanship category that the government may nominate in the UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage lists. Notable Taosugs Santanina T. Rasul, first Filipino Muslim woman senator. Mujol Lael Tan Kiram, legitimate Sultan of Sulu Filipino Nur Miswari, former Filipino governor and founder of the Moro National Liberation Front. Jamalul Kiram III, self-proclaimed Filipino Sultan. Ismael Kiram II, self-proclaimed Filipino Sultan. Matt Sala, Datu Muhammad Sala, Saba warrior from Ananam during the British administration of North Borneo. Tun Datu Mustafa, Tun Datu Mustafa bin Datu Harun, first Yang di Pertua Negri, Governor of Saba and third Chief Minister of Saba. Juhar Mahiradin, tenth Yang di Pertua Negri, Governor of Saba, also partial Kadazan Dusan ethnic ancestry. Musa Aman, 14th Chief Minister of Sabah. Shafi Abdul, 15th Chief Minister of Sabah. City, Filipino singer. Maria Lord Sereno, 24th Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of the Philippines. Wawa Zainal Abidin, Malaysian actress. Yang Mahajal, teen housemate in Pinoy Big Brother, Lucky Seven. Dubbed as the Pag A Sun ng Ankan ng Zamboanga, likes to help his family do household chores such as to cook and to fetch water. See also Sulug Island, Baju people, Maranao people. References Notes External links Taosug at Encyclopædia Britannica